All right, welcome back everybody. So today's video, we're gonna be addressing this whole cooling the crankcase situation. Uh, last week's video, when I was putting the oil pan back up, I told you that I did find antifreeze dripping off the camshaft. So pretty much we gotta address that before we even start this thing. So there's like two possible uh, scenarios here, head gaskets or intake manifold gaskets. Car's actually been running really well, so I like to just kind of rule out the idea that it's the head gaskets. So the best way to do that is to do a compression test. So we're gonna pull all the spark plugs out, open up the throttle plate, crank this thing up, check all eight cylinders. As long as those numbers are pretty much within the same ballpark, uh, we can kind of rule out that it's the head gaskets and then just get ahead and replace the intake manifold gaskets. It's just like an extra step to do that doesn't take that much time. Uh, just so we don't have to like do it twice. Cause if I just threw intake manifold gaskets on this right now and then it's one of the head gaskets, I'd have to take it all back off. So just doing this quick compression test is gonna give me a little bit more information that I can just kind of rule out the head gaskets and then just get ahead and do the intake manifold gaskets. So we're just gonna start right now and get into it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label each spark plug wire, pull all those off. I'm gonna pull out every single spark plug. Um, at that point, I'm going to open up the throttle plate, keep that kind of open, and then I'm gonna disconnect the distributor and I'm probably gonna pull the fuse on the fuel pump too, just so when we crank it, uh, we're not dumping fuel or there's no sparks going on, so we're just getting the consistent cranking for each cylinder. So I'm gonna get ahead and start doing that right now. All right, so I got all the plugs out. I have a small screwdriver keeping the throttle plates open there and the distributor's disconnected and so is the fuel pump. So now I'm gonna hook up the compression tester and start testing each cylinder. All right, so I got the compression tester set up to cylinder number one here. I also have a notepad with all the cylinders which I'm gonna put each reading down on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start cranking this until the gauge stops. So it's a little over 150. So I'm gonna write that down, move on to the next one. All right, so I just finished up cylinder seven. I'm gonna take this off, start on the other side, but everything was uh, just slightly above 150 on each cylinder. So this bank's probably more than fine. So I'm gonna just double check the uh, right side bank over there and then Figure that out from there. All right, so I just wrapped up doing all the compression tests on every cylinder. So it was pretty much equal across the board. Uh, so I'm pretty confident now that it's probably just the intake manifold leaking at some point since the gasket's so old on here. So the next step is to start taking all this apart. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain the coolant, I'm gonna pull the filter off here, I'm gonna pull the plug wires, disconnect the linkage. My main plan is to get this upper plenum off and that'll give me access to the uh, ECM that's underneath there and all the wiring harness and better access to the back of the fuel lines here that I gotta disconnect. So I'm gonna just start tearing apart this stuff right now.
All right, now I'm gonna take off this linkage bracket here and this piece here, and then I'll be able to get to all the upper plenum bolts. I'm gonna take that off and then slowly pull this up. I believe there's a vacuum hose that goes on or underneath here, so I'm gonna get that too. All right, so I got everything loose here and I'm lifting up on it. I'm gonna just try to get this out here. There's one sensor under here, we gotta disconnect. The vacuum line for the fuel pressure regulator, I already disconnected from back here. And then there's one main vacuum port, which is right here, which I took off. Just gonna wiggle the harness around a little bit and then I'll move that out of the way. All right, so that's kind of good news. So at least we don't have to deal with doing the head gaskets. As much as I would love to be like tearing the freaking side exhaust and the headers out of this thing and pulling the heads off, we don't have to now. It's just a basic intake manifold gasket job, which we'll get to maybe in like a week or so or something like that. So enjoy the video, press like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.